Hello everyone, it's Sarah from the Playhouse. Welcome back to Storytime. I have a story today for that's very special for all of our friends who have been learning all about rocket ships and outer space and the moon and the stars. Because this story is the story of a boy who faced his fears and went on to reach the stars. It's called The Darkest Dark about astronaut Chris Hadfield. Written, I'm sorry, written by astronaut Chris Hadfield and illustrated by the Fan Brothers. <gasps> Look at this rocket ship on the front cover. It reminds me of some friends of ours here at school that made a rocket ship. <gasps> I think it was the Ducklings. Do you remember making a rocket ship together? <gasps> oh, and a dog. All right, let's find out what the darkest dark is all about. Oh wow, look at the dark night sky. Oh, and a rocket ship. Oh wow, what a beautiful sunset. Chris was an astronaut, an important and very busy astronaut. When it was time to take a bath, he told his mother, I'd love to, but I'm saving the planet from aliens. <laughs> when it was time to get out of the bath and go to bed, he told his father politely, because astronauts are always polite. Sorry, no can do. I'm on my way to Mars. <laughs> An astronaut's work is never done. So astronauts don't really like to sleep. Oh dear, he's up very late at night. Oops, I skipped ahead too far. But their parents do. You're a big boy now, said Chris's father. You need to sleep in your own bed. And Chris tried, he really did. But his room was dark. Very, very dark. The kind of dark that attracts the worst sort of aliens. <laughs> but his parents meant it. Chris was going to sleep in his own bed tonight. Mm. His mom and dad checked under his bed and in the wardrobe and even in his underwear drawer. They declared the room 100% free. Oh. They tucked Chris in. They turned on the nightlight. They even gave him a special bell to ring if he was nervous. Click. Click, click. Click, click, click. They took away the bell. And then his father said something that worried Chris even more than the dark did. One more peep, young man, and I'm afraid we'll all be too tired to go next door tomorrow. But tomorrow would be a special day, a very special day. Chris had to go next door. His life pretty much depended on it. <sighs> so Chris stayed in his own bed without a peep. It took a long time to fall asleep, but when he did, he had his favorite dream. He flew his spaceship all the way to the moon. <gasps> wow. They're on the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The next day seemed to last forever. But finally, when the moon was shining over the lake and the summer wind was ruffling leaves of the trees, Chris ran next door. There's a very full moon in the sky. The house was already full of people all gathered around the TV. The only TV on, on the whole island. <gasps> Wonder what's gonna be on the television. Chris found a spot where he could see through the crowd. And what he saw was... 
astronauts, real live astronauts on the actual faraway moon. They were wearing puffy white suits and jumping for joy, jumping so high because there was so much less gravity there. <gasps> the astronauts are on the moon. The grown-ups huddled around the TV were amazed. Their whole lives long, they'd never expected to see this sight. Even Chris, who had been to the moon just the night before, was amazed. He had never really noticed how dark it was there. Outer space was the darkest dark ever. It's very dark there. Everyone's looking at the moon. I love looking up at the big full moon over the night sky. That night, you can see it through his window, Chris did a little experiment. He turned off all the lights in his room, even the night light. It was still dark, very, very dark. There were still shadows that looked a little, well, alien. Nothing had changed, but Chris had changed. I wonder how he changed. He'd seen that the darkness of the universe was so much bigger and deeper than the darkness in his room, but he was not afraid. He wanted to explore every corner of that night sky. Wow. For the first time, Chris could see the power and mystery and velvety black beauty of the dark. Wow, look at that. See different planets, the solar system. Wow. And he realized you're never really alone there. Your dreams are always with you, just waiting. Big dreams about the kind of person you want to be. Wonderful dreams about the life you will live. He's dreaming of many things. Dreams that actually can come true. The end. Oh, let's look at some of these pictures. This is the real Chris in real life. There he is. That's the first spaceship he built in 1964. There's his family. Oh, and then he became a pilot. Oh, and here we go. Here he is getting into his rocket. There he is on his first spacewalk. Oh. He's playing guitar in outer space. Oh, and there's the real Albert the dog. Wow, that is so cool. He's a real astronaut. The end. I really enjoyed that story, helping us learn about why we don't really need to be scared of the dark, that really cool things happen in the dark, like in outer space. Thank you very much for listening to today's story, everyone. I miss you and I'll see you so soon. Bye-bye.